So, where are we going this time, Daniel? We're going to Queen Charlene's kingdom. She needs us to run her passenger trains for a few days. Okay, but why? Couldn't Sir Francis Drake do it? Well, DOA, Charlene has shut Francis up as punishment for being rude and bossy a few months ago. So until he decides to trust him again, you will be taking his place. Okay. So be sure to give Charlene's passengers a lovely ride without any trouble. You'll also get to meet Prairie when you get there. Prairie? Daniel? Oh, he's a GWR tank engine who Charlene has called in for temporary assistance. You'll meet him in good time. Okay, Daniel. Afternoon, Your Majesty. Be away! Welcome to my kingdom! How have you been? Never bear, ma'am. I'm so glad you're here. Work has been increasing. Well, Charlene, whatever job you need doing, I'm entirely at your service. Glad to hear it. Hello there. You must be Duchess of Apple. And you must be Prairie. It's very nice to meet you. Likewise. Wow, you look beautiful for an LMS Express locomotive. <laughs> Thank you. We Princess Coronations try our best to look pretty. I can imagine so. I also heard from Thomas that you don't mind shunting. Not one bit. Every edge you can shunt. <laughs> You must be very clever. <laughs> clever is one way of putting it, but I think I have a special touch. How's it going, DOA? Never better, Daniel. I'm enjoying working with Perry. He's such a nice chap who knows his way around the yard. I think he's pretty smart for a great western engine. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Is he okay, Daniel? I don't know. Queen Charlene says he hasn't said a word since he was punished. Queen Charlene even said that when she scolded him, she was going to withdraw him from service. What? She didn't mean that, did she? Well... At the time, it seemed that I did. I originally said that I was how I was going to punish him for his bad behaviour. Then... How come you haven't done so yet? <sighs> I've been thinking it over. I realised that my punishment on him was too severe. I mean, it was naughty of him to go boasting and bossing other engines around. But I think withdrawing him was taking it way too far. So, Duchess of Athol? Yes? You're a kind and wise engine, so I need your advice. Do you think I should give Sir Francis Drake a second chance? Yes, Your Majesty. I think you should. Your punishment of withdrawing him was way too cruel. This isn't against you, but I think he deserves another chance. I mean, do you remember when I got angry with him? You mean when you scolded him and when he ordered you to shunt his coaches? Yes, I was, in a way, trying to reason with him. I actually feel guilty for being angry with him, too. Daniel gave me a second chance in life, so I feel it's only fair that you give him a second chance, too. That's very honourable of you, DOA, to forgive him. 
Agreed. And you know what? I will. I'll tell him he's getting a second chance later today. With your permission, Your Majesty, I'd like a chance to speak with Sir Francis Drake. Permission granted. Hello, Sir Francis Drake. Um, hi, DOA. Are you here to scold at me for what I did? Of course not. I came here to give you some good news. Your owner, Queen Charlene Cavaliera, has decided to give you a second chance. Really? After all I had said and did? Yes. I advise her to give you another chance. I don't want you to just sit here forever. But why? Why don't you? Because you deserve a second chance. I want you to have that chance because I feel bad myself. Remember when I scolded you for being the way you were? Yes, I mean you were arrogant, but I could see that there is good in you. I was angry at you for being so bossy, rude, and boastful. I'll admit it, but I felt bad for being angry with you myself. I even felt so shocked after Charlene scolded you that day after you bumped those trucks into me and the others. I didn't say anything when she scolded you because I was worried it would only make things worse. So what I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry for being so angry with you and not saying anything at the time. You have nothing to be sorry for. I'm the one who should be saying sorry for being so rude to you and your friends. After all this time I've been sitting here, I've watched other engines doing multiple jobs. It made me realize that every engine can do whatever job given. Well, what made you arrogant in the first place? Well, you see, when I was first built and given the name of the man Sir Francis Drake himself, I became so proud of it, not just because I was named after him, but also because I was related to the King Arthurs. I thought being an express engine meant I would never have to pull trucks, and I also thought that I didn't need to shunt my own trains. That's why I acted the way I did to you and your friends. I see. Well, some express engines have their problems. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, being so rude and bossy. I'm a terrible engine. I bet even God thinks I am. You're better than you think you are. Even God knows so. God is wise in his ways. We must trust in him. You're quite wise to say that. Well, Sir Francis Drake, I've learned that after I've learned the error of my ways. What do you mean? Well, you see, I never used to be such a nice engine myself. When I was young, I absolutely hated pulling goods trains. This resulted in making me think they deserved to be bumped all the time, whether they behave or not. Their teasing and mocking made me so furious, and as a result, I ended up causing an accident, injuring a few people. This led me to be getting punished. I was shut up in the shed, and I had a lot to think about. I used that time to think about my error, and a few days later, I became a better engine. So I'm thinking if I could do that, then so can you. That's one of the nicest things I've ever heard, DOA. But do you really think I'm better than I thought I was? Yes, you're not a bad engine. Come on, let's put the past behind us and just be friends. Well said, old girl. And what she says is true, Sir Francis Drake. I'm going to give you a second chance. I was wrong to consider withdrawing you just because of your silly behaviour. But after those few weeks, I've decided that having you sit here all that time, I think has been punishment enough. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. I promise I'll be a better engine. Well done on your wise words, DOA. Your advice really helped. Thanks, Daniel. Right, Sir Francis Drake. I'll be needing you to take a local train at 8am tomorrow. Got it? Got it. <laughs>